Hello everybody, it's freaking Sauce Devour. Welcome back to another video. I have not done one of these videos in a while, a tier list video. I was thinking about it this morning I said, I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm gonna do one today on MLB The Show Games, because it came across my mind, and I'm going to do a Madden one as well. But um, this will only be MLB The Show Games through 13 to 20. Because MLB 6, 06 through 12, I didn't really play that much. But they, I, even though I had played them a little bit, they all seemed the same to me. And the gameplay was probably shitty. Because it took them a while for them to get it. Like, I don't know. Like an engine that was advanced for hitting and pitching. Which came in MLB 13, which I'm going to start off with. In being the greatest MLB The Show game by far, in my opinion. The gameplay was perfectly balanced between a video game aspect and, you know, what would be expected of real life when it comes to hitting and pitching. What you put in came out. But it was, it was all perfectly balanced. Franchise the best, road to the show phenomenal. Home Run Derby was popping. People actually used to play that back in the day. In 13, I spent so much time playing this game. Everything about it was phenomenal. I really liked it. Um, I had not played Diamond Dynasty yet. I don't even know if it was in 13. I think it could have been. Uh, but, you know, my time playing that game, I had no issues. I thought it was really fun. Um, so I'm going to put it at in, in the best tier. It is in... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. I had to make this tier list myself because there wasn't one already. So this is my tier list. I'm going to put it in my best tier. Um, Next, we're going to do a game not too particularly fond of it. Um, it'll be 14. Boring game, pure and simple. Really boring game. Nothing new, nothing special. Gameplay was pretty bad. It was, like, not fun at all. You could put... You could square up a ball and it would die. This was the game where offense didn't exist. You'd be lucky if something went out of the ballpark. Or if you got any hits in general. This game was like... Just boring. Awful. Home run derbies. When you're doing home run derbies and you're cranking six out. You know, bad game. Not a fan. Not a huge fan at all. Uh, But, uh... I would put it in... uh. The worst tier that I have entitled Wanted to Die While Playing These. But that place a reserve for two games on this list. Um, I think 14 born game. Not a fan. Uh, nothing special. Next game on our list, MLB 15. Really, uh, it was a really good game in my opinion. It had my favorite mode in MLB The Show ever community challenges where people could make challenges, put them in the vault, and you could play them, whether it was robbing home runs, recreating moments in history. Um, there was a stub glitch for a while in that, um, so that was pretty good. Gameplay was sufficient enough. Uh, it wasn't perfect. Still along the lines of be 14, but not nearly as, like, you hit a ball and it died. Um, you could, you, you could be rewarded in this game, as you should, when it came to hitting. Franchise is really good. I believe this is the first game that introduced one like franchise. Road to the show. Similar on the lines of the other games, but not a bad thing. Um, all in all, I think it was a good game. I enjoyed it. Gameplay is sufficient enough. We are now going to the next game on our list, which is it. It's not good, but it's not good in a way that makes it elite, and that is MLB The Show 16. And it's going to go on my best here because this game was broken. This game was absolutely broken. 
in a way that made it phenomenal because no other MLB The Show game was like this. You put the PCI on the ball, it was going to go. And considering what we had gotten in the past couple years, that is not a problem at all. This game was just fun as fuck. I would, I could do home run derbies and be cranking out 30 home runs around just, but I would go and make my creative player 99 offline home run derbies still on little like old roosters, guys with 99 power that were created by other people in the community and just do that for hours. Diamond Dynasty content wasn't good, but like I said, the gameplay was so broken, it made this game the most fun MLB The Show game ever. Like I said, you put the PCI, won the ball, it was going. It was going. Which doesn't necessarily make the game good, but it makes the game fun. And it was broken. I can't emphasize how much I said I can say that enough. This game was broken. This game was broken. This game was broken. And it was great. Road to the show. Phenomenal. Because the game was broken and you could hit as many home runs as you wanted to. Franchise. Phenomenal. It was the way the franchise had always been except, you know, gameplay, like I said. It was the gameplay. I'll just put it like that. The gameplay, I don't have to say furthermore, it was the gameplay that made this game the best and connects to 13 in terms of having fun. It's all gameplay. Content didn't really exist, so what I have to say is it was gameplay. And I think I've probably um, expressed that uh, enough. And if not enough, way past enough. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. I'll be 16. The game I played the most by four. I loved it. Fun. Next game on our list, I'm going to be 17. Gameplay was good. Wasn't on, uh... The turns of, like, 16 good, but, uh, it was pretty damn good. Uh, and it also evolved content in a way, but I will say it was very hard to get a good team. If you could get a good team in this game, it would be in the twerp tier without a doubt. But it was impossible. You had to do a crazy amount of solo challenges. It wasn't worth it for someone who was a casual player like me up until 19. And only 19 for that matter. And that was when I wasn't a casual player. That was when I became involved with the game. I played a shit ton. But uh, like I said, gameplay was really good. Uh... Like 13 good, just about as good, except Just Late was was glitched the fuck out. You got Just Late and, like, good timing, that shit was gone. If you got good timing in, in 17, it wasn't really going to go anywhere. You had to be either Just Early or Just Late, or Early or Late. That was the If you got Just Early, Just Late, Late or Early, that shit was leaving. Um... Road to the show, they finally evolved a little bit. Not too much, but they did evolve it. Franchise the same. Uh, it, it's just really... MLB the show as a whole revolves around gameplay because it's not like it's been too much different within the past couple of years. So that is my position on MLB the show 17. Um, like I said, if MLB the show 17 had better Diamond Dynasty... Uh, space to build a better team, it would definitely go in my 12th year because as long as it's able for the better player to be rewarded in terms of PCI placement, it makes it a good game. This game was the worst. This game was awful. This game was mind-blowingly bad. Servers were... No, never mind. I was 17. Fielders were broken for like the first half of the game. The mechanics sucked. You had to be full out power if you wanted to win. Uh, the content was by far the worst. Considering that it had more players, you had to have the, the, the quad squad in 18 to win. You had to. And it was impossible 
the challenge that they released everybody at one time that you needed to win in the game. Every player core that you needed you to win in MLB 18, every single one was released at once. And what you would have to do to get those cards, it was hard, but it was also stupid. Uh, souvenirs. Nobody would be thrilled about having to get souvenirs, bobbleheads, in order to advance the programs of Immortals. It was awful. Nobody was excited about getting uniforms. Nobody was excited about getting jerseys. Well, jerseys are a part of uniforms. Nobody, I, I, nobody was excited about getting caps. Nobody was excited of having to plug in, like... So many hours to get a team that would be only usable in Diamond Dynasty. Other cords were absolutely terrible over the community market. You couldn't earn stubs. That's the one problem throughout LB the show in general. You couldn't earn stubs up until 18. But 18, you couldn't earn stubs, but you had to be. It didn't matter in other games because you. It, in other games, the better player would win. 18 and up. The better player doesn't win. And that goes for every sports game. There's something that's broken about it. And this game was awful. Broken. Defense was... The animations were awful on defense. Road to the show was the same as 17, except... It was the exact same. I believe that was when they fucked up franchise. I'm not sure. But this game's a bit. That game was awful. So, those are my feelings on that. Now we come across uh, MLB The Show 19, a game that was okay in the sense that content was the best ever. 20's not done yet, but this game, throughout the whole progression of the game, content was thorough. But gameplay was way too worn off. This game turned into other MLB The Show games during its livelihood. This game could have a hitting mechanic that was the likes of which, like, 16, and then turn into 18, then turn into, like, MLB 14. Then it, it was like, and what I mean by this is, there were points where I was like, you put the pizza on the ball, it was going, and then there were points where it was like with powerful, hitter, powerful hitters like Frank Thomas, uh, anybody, uh, Ken Griffey, whoever you had on your team that, you want, you square up a ball and it's a line out, and then Tony Gwynn comes up, he's under the living fuck of a ball, and it goes. Like 500 feet. This game didn't make any sense at all in terms of gameplay. Some points would be really good, some points would be really bad. Wall in wall, content, because of the content, really good game. And, Alvin, and Road to the Show was finally really improved in 19. Really improved. Franchise was. I believe, yeah, no one-line franchise. No, at 19 was when they took out one-line franchise, so that was a huge problem. But I, I wouldn't say it was bad. I wouldn't say it was bad. It was very on and off, but content was spectacular. So, there you go. Very weird game. I played that game actually way more than any other MLB The Show game for that matter. Not more than... I didn't play 16 more than 19. I played 19 way more than 16 because I was sweating 19. And I was, but I know where standpoints would have and still are, would have been and still are on 19. And this is a game that, can I not drag it? Well, there we go. Okay. This is the game that made me stop playing all the show as a whole. Because AT was... Quad awful. 19 was, for the most part, off. Like I said, at, there was a point where it was on, and I enjoyed playing it, and the content was that good, but I wouldn't say I had fun playing it. But it was still an okay game. But this game made me stop playing. Because, and this is what MLB the show has always done. The game comes out the first week, everybody says, Oh my god, they finally have a good game, and then they fuck it up. This game's gameplay, after like three days, it turned into MLB 18, MLB 19 when it was off. The older MLB show games, like 14. 
And I, I, I it was when it, this game, it was the game that made me effectively say, you know what? I never have fun playing this game. I'm not playing it anymore. And I'm not playing it anymore. I'm only playing Madden going forward when it comes to sports video games. Even though it's, and Madden's not the best user, it's not on the level of MLB the show bad. I still follow the game. Content is not that good yet. They're dropping 98 Rod Carew out of Headliners Packs 31, the 31st set. Where this is a power meta game. But... Apparently, like a week ago, they finally fixed hitting again, and no, way too late. I'm not, I'm not going back. I deleted it. I'm not playing it anymore. They screwed up. They, it was the last time I was going to let them, like, you know, control me in terms of the actual gameplay. Because it'll be the show. It, it, it's not fun. Except for 13 and 16 and 15 and 17, I guess. The game is not fun. It's been three years since they came out with a good game. It's been three years. Man can be bad and fun. This game, when it's bad, it has destroyed me on many occasions. But this game was the last one. This is the last straw. You can't come out with a game that I remember specifically. First four days or three days of gameplay it was good, and then it tanks. You can't do that. And, and content, like... I don't remember what program it was, but like, fourth inning program, really? Felix Hernandez, Jacoby Ellsbury, and Joe Torrey? Even third inning program in 19 takes a, you know, a big shit on that in terms of how good it is. But nobody wants Jacoby Ellsbury out of fourth inning program. I just saw that they released fifth inning program. It's Poppy, Moe, and Larry Walker. And by the way, for the record, this game only... I know they said they wanted to add more players from the 90s and 2000s. Yeah, that's all they've done. No one... They, they, you have to have more names. And at this point, there's not a lot of names when it comes to MLB The Show. Hank Aaron is not in the game yet. Okay, there are a lot of people that aren't in the game. Jim Tomey. Pitchers. Sandy Koufax. This is a hitter's game, and hitting is broken all the time. There's so many pitchers that aren't in the game. You know, so... Yeah. That's my standpoint on 20. You can't make gameplay bad after three days. You can't. So, th that's my video. I still get frustrated even talking about it. It makes me sad to think I can't play my game that I've played so much anymore because it's so on and off and content is still never where it had needs to be. As much as they made a huge improvement with 19 with content. It's not enough. It's never enough. Oh, and I don't know what that showdown thing is, but I never touched that. Um, in 20, because it just looked, you know, waste of my time. Oh, and Conquest, I, I, I don't even know why that's still in the game. So, they need to add more now with the show. It's not enough, not nearly enough. And gameplay has to be sufficient. It's, it, it's never sufficient. After, after 17, it's not. So that's my tier list video. Uh, I will do a Madden one, which is going to be hard because it's like 20 games. I'm only doing the 2000. I'm only doing Madden 2000 up. And so that's going to be a longer video. And I've played Madden probably more than over the show, so I'll have more to say. Um, especially my, I've been playing my, way longer than Diamond Dynasty. But anyway, that was my video. It's freaking sourced about or If you did agree with my list or disagree, tell me what you think, but um, 13 and 16, thank you for you, every other game, I, yeah, I can't really say anything on the other games, as much as 15 and 17 were pretty good, everything else, within the last three years, yeah, no, you, you, you lost me, I will not be getting over the show, 20, 
Um, but anyway, that's my video. We have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.